everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the Disney Cooking with Magic cookbook. And today's recipe is spring salad with the green goddess dre dressing. It's uh, Persephone's god to oversee all of the plants that bloom and perhaps even vegetables that ripen in the spring. Um, so this is all about um, Persephone and stuff and basically this is her green goddess um, salad and dressing. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a blender um, to make your dressing, the actual dressing for the salad. Um, and so what you're gonna need for this first is a half a cup of fresh parsley leaves. I have a little bag of parsley here. I'm just gonna pick some leaves off. Thought about doing this ahead of time, but I thought, nah, because you know what? I usually wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do it ahead of time if I was just making it without doing a video of it. So we'll just pick them off here. Try to get the leaves off. If I can uh, do it without chopping stuff up and getting a cutting board out, I will. Easiest way is best. For me anyways. Okay, almost got a half a cup there. There we go. Okay. Smash it in there and let's grab a little more. I want to make sure we have enough. All right. You ever mess with parsley and feel like you're especially if you have a lot of allergies and stuff, that it kind of opens up your sinuses a little bit. Let's see something in the smell. Okay, so we got half a par cup of parsley leaves. Then you need one and a half cups of baby spinach. Where did I, oh my gosh, I put my baby spinach back when I was putting other stuff back. Sorry about that, guys. Just toss it right back in there. Oops, okay. One and a half cups of baby spinach, which does not want to go in the cup, I must say. Okay, so there's the half. And then we need a one. <laughs> Do not want to stay in there. Then you need three tablespoons of chopped chives. I don't think I've said this before whenever I do like chives or anything like that. I usually just use a pair of scissors and cut them up real quick. So that's what I'm gonna do now. What was that? Something made a weird noise. So I'm just gonna cut these, kind of try to get them over the tablespoon thing here so I know how much a tablespoon is. Three tablespoons is quite a lot though. Okay. There's one tablespoon. Just in case you all can't see what I'm doing, I'm just cutting these with scissors right over the tablespoon measuring spoon. Trying my best to get it into the tablespoon. Just how I cut up chives. I think it's easier and they're done right there. Like I said, the less I have to get a cutting board out, the better. Less dishes I have to do. Maybe a little bit messier, but that's okay. Okay. Kind of going all over my counter, but that's okay. I'll pick them up here in a little bit. There is two. Here's my question though. If you're putting them in the blender, why do you need to chop them? Can't you just put them in the blender? Put like a big bundle of chives in the blender? Wouldn't you eventually get the same thing? I don't know. Just my way of thinking, I guess. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe it's easier for it to chop it up once you've chopped it up. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to get them all off the counter here because that'll give us a little extra for the not the quite filled up spoons. There we go. Okay. So three tablespoons chopped chives. Okay, then you're gonna need one tablespoon of chopped dill. Fresh dill, by the way. Just like it should be fresh chives as well. Okay. So since this is just one tablespoon, I'm just gonna cut some into here. It should be fine. about like a tablespoon. Shut that up. Okay, then you're also going to need two carp minced garlic cloves. I am using already minced garlic. Usually just kind of say, okay, that looks about like one clove. That looks about like two cloves. My mom used to say you can never have too much garlic. I don't know if that's true, but that's what she would say. Okay, so then you need one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Good. And uh, the zest of one lemon. Okay, so I'm just going to use my little thing here and zest it up. Lemons are fairly easy to zest, zest up most of the time. They go pretty quickly. Oops, got the sticker on there. That would not be good. Glad I missed it. Don't forget to take your sticker off because I almost forgot. cup for that. Okay. Half a cup canola oil. And the last ingredient is a half a cup. Oh, here it is. I'm going to find my half a cup measuring cup there for a minute. So we need a half a cup of mayonnaise. I always use a spatula to get my mayonnaise out. I just kind of scrape it into the cup. Especially this, because it's almost at the bottom here. Once you've got everything in your blender, you're going to go ahead and, of course, put your top on. And then you are going to blend this all together. Let's see, does it give a specific uh, blend well? Uh, stopping to scrape the inside of the blender with a rubber spatula as needed. And place the dressing in a glass jar with a wit, <laughs> red, lid and chill until ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get this blended up. And I have a nice little glass jar with a lid that I'm gonna put it in and put it in the fridge. And while this is blending, I'm gonna go ahead and get our ingredients out for the salad and make that up. And then uh, I'll be back. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I just wanted to show you real quick what this looks like before I put it in its jar. Well, as I put it in its jar, I guess. We 
got it nice and mixed up here. Looks pretty good. So we'll just pour it in here. And it's a nice green. Definitely a nice green uh, salad dressing there. Okay, that looks really good. It's a fabulous color. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna go and get the ingredients for the salad. So I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, you guys, so we are back. So what we are going to do now is for the salad, um, you're gonna need five ounces of packaged mixed um, spring baby lettuces. So this is baby spinach and baby arugula. Um, you're also going to need one cup of sugar snap peas, thinly sliced, thanks to my mom who came over and did that for me really quick. Um, then you're also going to need a half a cup of fresh English peas or frozen peas. Now, um, I, don't, I don't even know what English peas are, so I have some nicely frozen peas here, and I will be using those, okay? Uh, the other thing you're going to need is three rainbow carrots. Now, these you're going to be um, basically peeling them and then using a vegetable peeler to just make, like, um, I don't know, what do they call them? Uh, oh, ribbons out of your carrots, okay? So you're supposed to use rainbow carrots. It's another thing around here I can't find. So I am actually just using some shredded carrots or, or grated carrots that I already had um, just because I want to use them up. So I'm gonna be using that. But if you can find rainbow carrots and you wanna use a vegetable peeler and make ribbons out of them, you can do that, okay? Then you need one fresh cup of pea shoots or microgreens. Something else I can't get here. Um, they don't sell microgreens or anything in the store and I can't grow them in my house because my cats eat them and then throw up all over the place. So mine will not be having microgreens, but you're welcome to put them in yours if you have them. Okay, and then you're also going to need some fresh ground pepper. It's optional if you don't want to put it in there. And then some edible flowers such as pansies, violas, violets, and or borage. I don't know what those are. Um, so here's the thing. Um, I don't really grow flowers around here and the only way that a flower is edible is if you know that for sure it hasn't had any pesticides or fertilizers chemical fertilizers put into it so i can't exactly buy a plant at the store and say oh this will work because it might try to kill us um so, so i will not be using the edible flowers but if you can get a hold of edible flowers or if you grow your own and you know you don't spray any pesticides or anything on them It'll probably be beautiful. I would love to add the color, but unfortunately I can't. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're gonna, in a large bowl, you're going to put the lettuces, the chopped up or the uh, thinly sliced sugar snap peas, um, your English peas, so you need about a cup of these. English peas or frozen peas. I'm just kind of guessing at what a cup is. That looks good, okay. Um, and then, oh, and then you're just gonna to toss that all together, okay? Oops. All right, then you are going to go ahead uh, and then you can peel your carrots into ribbons if you want to, if you wanna use your pe vegetable peeler to do that. Now, you're gonna take this lettuce and you're gonna divide it between, I think it says six salad bowls, yes. So we got one, we got two, three, four. I kind of feel like I put too much in some of these. And a bunch of them didn't get the peas and carrots. Or the peas, I mean. I'm going to put the carrots in. That one looks like it didn't hardly get any lettuce. Here we go. All right. There we go. Perfect. So we got that done. All right, and then what you're gonna do is go ahead and put your, um, you're gonna top it with your carrots. I'm just gonna put a few carrots on each one of these. Okay. And then you're also going to put, uh, let's see, oh, pea shoots on there if you desire it, to put your pea shoots or your microgreens on there, okay? And then you can also now put your black pepper on there if you want, and then um, when you garnish it with your edible flowers and your dressing. So this is the spring salad with 
green goddess dressing from the Disney cookbook. Um, the dressing looks really awesome, you guys. I kind of can't wait to try it. Um, and the salad, probably just a salad, but that's okay. Who cares? All right. Oh, and I forgot to add the radishes. Did it say to add the radishes? Oh, it did. Sorry, you guys. We're supposed to put the radishes in here too. So you need some four to five thinly sliced radishes. I'm so sorry I didn't put them in there. Okay. Now we will show it again so that you can see it with the radishes in it too. And let's see, we're cooking with magic. Okay, so. Okay, so the Green Goddess dressing and salad from the Disney Cooking with Magic cookbook. Okay, salad dressing looks excellent, can't wait. Okay, are we ready? All right, so let's give this a try. I'm just gonna dip some of this in the salad dressing because I don't wanna put it on there right now because we're not gonna eat quite yet. So let's just see what this tastes like. Okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure, you guys. I was hoping the dressing would be a little bit better than that, but it's pretty, um, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's kind of a, kind of an aftertaste maybe. It's not bad, but it's not, not the best dressing I've ever had. But I, I can eat it. It's just not something I would eat on a daily basis, I guess I would say. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this uh, recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't. Everyone have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy, and we'll see you later. Bye.